Hi friends, I'm Inu from gdnfsforzacars.com and today uh, I'll be showing you how to earn its uh, quick money uh, on Gran Turismo 5 because uh, Gran Turismo 5 unlike Forza uh, does not have all the cars there uh, in the arcade mode so that you can try them on different tracks. Uh, it's a long tiring process where you'll have to go through the entire career play and then buy cars and some of the cars are like insanely expensive so this is a trick not a cheat actually and uh, this will show you how you can actually earn seventy thousand dollars in just two to three minutes for this you need the uh, spec 2 and the new DLC update because uh, what the DLC does is it actually transfers all the new DLC cars in your garage not on the source so you don't have to buy them anymore so Hopefully you find it helpful. Okay, so now we'll show you exactly how you earn the money by using the cars. I'll take you to my garage here. These are the premium cars that I own of now, 87 of them. I don't really uh, believe in buying and you know collecting Gran Turismo 5 standard cars. They are actually substandard and they look bad, they don't have a cockpit, there is one now after the DLCs but it's very dark and a shabby one. And the, the, the standard cars really don't deserve to be in a game of the standard of Gran Turismo 5 so thumbs down for that. So these are the premium cars, some of them are very expensive ones and all are bought almost uh, by racing uh, that race with the, the one that I'm going to show you. So these are the few cars that you can see um, in my garage and this is the car that I'm going to use now. This is the Red Bull X2011 prototype. You get this in the DLC, new DLC and uh, one good thing the DLC does is they put the cars directly in your garage and you don't have to buy them anymore so you can like, readily use it. Even if you're in the very preliminary level, you can still use this car to win a lot of races uh, in the A spec and the B spec. So I'll I'll go to the race now and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Go to A spec Expert class sorry Extreme class You have to be at least level twenty one to race it so I, even if you're in a lower level, just get the DLC, get the car, start winning other races so that you can actually reach level 21. And reaching level 21 is easy. After 25, it takes a lot of time actually. So now I'll show you the race. There's a super speedway Indy. And uh, there will be fast, fast cars running with it. But when this car runs, it's like nothing else matters. But one bad thing about this car is this car is not a real car. It's a hypothetical car, concept car. And this car does not have the realistic handling that you expect from Gran Turismo 5 cars. This car handles like very, uh, very arcade like handling it has. I mean, it, it can take turns at 300 kilometers per hour, you know, over two, 250 miles per hour. This car is not at all fun to drive, this is not at all realistic, but then when you need money to buy the other good cars, I think this is this is a good option. Now you can see it run. Don't even bother where you're going. I'm driving at the controller. If you have a wheel, if you have a force feedback wheel, make sure that you turn the force feedback on the wheel off when you're uh, running this particular car because on this, you know, the force feedback is very brisk and very harsh. It's very unnatural, not, not, very unnatural, not uh, like, you know, typical, please don't mind my driving because I'm just trying to show you how you can earn. See, even with the bad driving that I did, the car laps at around 41. It uh, generally laps around 31 or uh, 32 seconds a lap. Five laps, so count that to two, two and a half to three minutes. So, you know, it's actually a treat to drive. I mean, horrible to drive, but uh, to earn money, this is the easiest way. This is not a cheat, definitely, but 
this is a trick that you can actually apply so that you can get more cars on your garage, mark them as favorites, and you can try them uh, on the arcade mode. See, 33. I, I can go faster with the wheel, but I'm recording simultaneously. So, a little bit of problem here. Okay, see, if you are an ardent fan of simulation racing and actually want to play through the career, don't want to get involved in cheating and tricking, uh, you can just, you know, ignore what I'm saying now. But this car does not handle well at all. You won't have any fun driving it. Trust me, it's just like another you know, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit car. It handles so abnormally. This car is also a fictional car. This is not a real car. Uh, I don't know what kind of prototype it is. I have never heard of about it testing. And even if it did, I, I don't know if, if this any car at all can uh, run this fast as this one does. So, but still, you know, if you want money, uh, see, uh, this is the third lap, and this car is already lapping its opponent. So it's actually that much f uh, that much fa faster and. You know, you save a lot of time. Uh, in two and a half minutes, you like, you know, having 70,000 points. Good enough. Good enough, I think. This car looks kind of like a Formula One car. Uh, the 2010 version is there in the Gran Turismo roster, but this is a DLC uh, update. This is a DLC update, so you have to get the DLC to have it in your garage, guys. And it's not very expensive to just get it. Very useful in handy cars if you want to get quick XP's and quick money because Gran Turismo does not let every car free like like the Forza. I love Forza for the cars and the accessibility they give. I mean, you can drive any car on any track. This th here you can see the car is actually um, lapping every other car, and there you finish. See, this is the cash. This is the cash that you earn after finishing the race. Quite a bit, huh? And XP of 14,906, not bad at all. Welcome back. Uh, so hopefully you found the video helpful. And so just start playing and earn some money so that you can buy those exotics. Uh, this is Inu from GTNFSForzaCars.com signing off. And all the best for everything you do in life. Thanks for watching.